And SED 514, we have people that are teaching a variety of different disciplines. Um, some are teaching the sciences like physics, chemistry, biology, earth and space science. Some are teaching mathematics, computer science, engineering courses. Uh, some are teaching the arts, music, um, English, uh, language arts, foreign languages, physical education, just a variety of different subjects. But for this course, we want you to be able to work with people who are teaching similar things um, because they'll be the best to be able to edit your work and to critique your work. And so towards this goal, we're going to uh, work on a collaborative, uh, you might say seating chart by discipline. So go ahead and click on the colleagues link over here. Click on the colleagues link. And on the colleagues link here, you're going to find down here a link here to teaching disciplines. So uh, go ahead and uh, click on the te teaching disciplines link is right here. And this is a collaborative slideshow. So this is basically a Google presentation or Google slideshow. And because you have your Gmail address, you can log on to this and you can edit this and you can create these yourself. It's one of the myriad of different products that uh, Google provides free of charge. So what I've done is I've set up a slideshow here with different uh, um, pages. So the first one right here is for the sciences, English language, uh, uh, foreign languages, and so forth. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to choose your particular discipline. So if you're mathematics or maybe computer science, you're going to put your picture on this page. And so scroll through to see what fits you best in other would be, you know, just that other. <laughs> so, and uh, so let me just go ahead and illustrate right here. So here is a um, the science, I teach sciences. I've been teaching sciences for many, many years. So I'm going to um, enter a picture here. Now on the uh, Google slideshow, there's a little object up here which says insert image. If you pull that down, you can, you can see that there are a variety of different ways you can um, put in pictures. You can upload from the computer, et cetera. So uh, when you search from the web, uh, that would be if you're going to try to find some content out there which somebody else has posted. And unless you're famous and you have pictures all over the web, that's probably not the best place to search. So if you have a, um, you know, something on your computer, then you could just say upload from computer and then you're going to go and find this. So let's say I click on upload from computer and I'm going to go to uh, my drive here and I say, okay, that there is a, a picture of me. Um, I'll click on that and we can see that if that was uh, me, that would be way too large of a picture. So I would then shrink it down into the appropriate size and pop it up there. So let's say I go to another page here and I want to put in a picture. Another way you can do is you can drag and drop. So in this case, I'm going to drag something from my desktop and I'm simply going to just drag it right there. Okay, once again, um, it's too large, so I'm going to drag from the corner, and then I'm going to make it a more reasonable size. Now, if I drag uh, from the corner of any kind of graphic, as long as I'm holding the shift key down, it's going to uh, resize things at keeping the same aspect ratio. However, if I drag from one side um, or the other, you're going to get these really wonky looking images. And so the way to avoid that is to drag from the corner, hold the shift key down while you're dragging, and then you can resize things and the aspect ratio, in other words, the horizontal to vertical dimensions will remain uh, unchanged. Another way to get photos in um, is again, click on the insert image one right here and then go to your Google photo album. So if you have your photos backed up uh, onto Google photos, um, then you're going to just click over there and I'll put a picture of my grandson right there. It looks good. So, um, I will take that and insert that. And, uh, so that would be just off of my, um, Google photos. And so if you are not backing up your photographs and all your contacts and so forth to a service, I strongly suggest you do so. The two best ones are um, iCloud, if you have an iPhone, um, or simply Google uh, Photos, Google Images, Google Drive, all the Google resources if you have an Android. You can also back them up to both locations. I do that myself. 
Um, that's why you're picking up this one here, even though I have an iPhone, I'm picking it up off of Google. So I have things backed up into the cloud um, in from both uh, in iCloud uh, for the Apple as well as uh, Google for, um, uh, you know, just as a backup. So I have two backups in the cloud. All right, so um, that would be yet another way to um, insert your images. Another way to insert photos um, is again, go to the insert image and then search on your Google Drive. So if you've purposely put something into a folder on Google Drive, you can do it this way and you'll see all of the imagery and so forth from your Google Drive appearing there. So let's say I click on this one right here, which is an infrared image right there. Um, just uh, have an infrared adapter for my camera and obviously not the most flattering image, but uh, um, that would be another way to insert uh, photos if you have something uh, saved onto your Google Drive. Finally, another way to do it is just to take a photo. So if I can click up here and I'm going to say I'd like to use my camera. And if you have a laptop, um, that uh, most of your laptops are going to have a camera built right into the, uh, to the frame. Um, a lot of desktop models have this as well. And you just have to allow that access. Go ahead and click on the camera icon. And you're going to want to know where the, um, the camera is, like I'm using an uh, iMac here, and my camera's way at the top on um, the screen, and uh, I have a very large screen, so that's why sometimes you see me looking down because I'm looking at something else. But I'm going to look at it right now, take a picture, and uh, um, then when you get one you like, just say, you know what, I think I like this one. Actually, I don't like any of them. And I'll just put one in there just for... for um, just to show. So I'll just say I want that one in there. So there's another photo. So again, those are uh, five different ways to insert photos. I'd like you to practice a, a variety of those ways so that you feel confident that you can put imagery into your website or into any kind of document at any time from any source. So again, those are five different ways that we've talked about right there um, using the insert image icon. Um, you click on this, and we did upload from computer, search the uh, dr drive, photos, um, and camera. Um, if you happen to know the URL of a photo, you can paste it in there. And also, if you um, have something that uh, uh, something on the web, you can do it there as well. So let's say I want to um, put in here something from um, physical education. Let's say I want to have some kind of famous athlete. And uh, so let's go ahead and uh, click on the insert image right here. And um, let's say I wanted to uh, choose now from uh, search the web. So I could now you'll see that the imagery and so forth is available right there. And so let's say I wanted to um, look at, uh, let's say, uh, a famous player like Hank Aaron. There's Hank Aaron, click on Hank Aaron. And uh, so here's a picture when he was with the Braves. I'll just go ahead and click that. And now I've put Hank Aaron in there. Now, again, this is for imagery if that you know that something is indexed on the web. So again, uh, that provides just yet another option. Finally, if you have a URL already established and you know where it is, you can do that as well. So um, that would just be pasting the URL in. So finally, if you uh, wanted to insert something solely from the URL, let's say uh, I want to get a picture of the earth rise here, um, I would go to the my image search or to a web page. In a case like this, I'm going to look at this and say I'd like to look at this image right here. Um, the actual URL for that image is going to be, um, I'll say open image in new tab. Um, and then if I just go over there and I say I'd like to 